welcome back everyone today we are going to make a very simple and kind of a neat animation inside of maya we are going to be using mash and this is really easy to set up so let's get into it the first thing i'm going to do is start off by taking a simple frame but you can start off by taking any primitive that you want and as you can see we have a lot of subdivision inside of this so let's reduce the subdivision to one one we don't need that many subdivisions now the next thing i'm going to do is go to the edge mode and double click on any edge you want and that will just select the whole loop and simply hit extrude now extrude this outside to somewhere like this and from here simply go to the face mode and delete the between face perfect now to make this very interesting looking thing we can make this a little bit taller right something like this and let's center pivot this decrease the size and make sure from the top view that you are in the center grid perfect now let's give a little bit of thickness to this so extrude and extrude this a little bit upwards and from here we are going to select the edges top one bottom one and the outer one as well so as you can see we have selected the whole loop of the outer and inner edges now simply go to edit mesh and hit bevel now in the bevel make sure your fraction is set to somewhere like 0.1 or 0.2 not more than that it will just lose its quality and the look so once you're done with this simply click on it and go to mash and create a mash network as you can see we have a couple of uh, clones of these mesh so go to attribute and make sure the distribution is by default the distribution is set to linear but instead of linear we want it to be radial now once you have clicked on the radial as you can see we get this radial arrays of our plane so instead of radial axis on the x y axis so we can change it to x y and z or x and z so i think this is perfect exactly what we were looking for so let's uh, decrease the radius of this and let's increase the number of points we have so i'm going to uh, you can pretty much take any number of points you want uh, i'm going to set it to somewhere like maybe 60. so as you can see we have a lot of uh, points going on and also i'm going to increase the size of this okay so i think this is looking quite good now we can always go back and change anything if we don't like it you can also play around with the offset and uh, if you want to make a kind of a full animation you can pretty much change these 360 as well if you set it to zero it will be just one plane and then you can animate this as well anyways moving on so uh, let's decrease the radius of this even more to somewhere like this where it's joined or we can even make this lower let's see first how to animate this then we can change around the settings so the next step is going to the mesh network and taking an offset node now once you have taken the offset node what offset will do is play around with certain values like for example position rotation and scale so i'm going to change the rotation value uh, to somewhere like 90 and as you can see we have this kind of um, tilted plane going on and uh, let's play around with this so i'm going to make this zero again and let's see what we are getting uh, sorry 90 degrees okay this is looking good and something like this flat maybe not and i'm also going to be changing this to somewhere like 90 as well maybe 45 that's too much so 45 seems good now i'm also going to be changing uh, the scale value as you can see it's pretty big right now so let's change the scale value to something like minus 5 and i'm going to copy this and paste it on the x y and z axis so we have small kind of like this going on okay we can also change this to um, somewhere like where it's completely reasonable amount and let's change this to somewhere like 180 yeah so once you've done with this when you've played around with your uh, rotation we can always change this back we can click on this and we can go to the distribute and change the radius of this to somewhere like this now as you can see right now what we have is kind of a weird distorted shape now to fix this we have to play around with our uh, offset rotation now let's go to the offset and let's change the values let me just make this zero again so as you can see we have something like this now so let's click on it and go to the distribution again and let's change the radius okay so i think this is looking quite good now so the next step will be creating a kind of our animation now to create an animation we have to create a fall off now i'm going to go on my offset here and here you'll see a fall off object click on it 
and simply click on this right click and create an offset and instantly you will see this kind of a sphere which is our offset region now click on double click on the offset now here click on your offset and simply scale this down to something like this now once you have created your offset and let's just change the inner radius to something like this 0.4 maybe so once you have created something like this we can change move this around and as you'll see that it just changes and kind of give us that interactive look now what this is doing is everything that is inside of our offset is only animating the offset values and anything that is outside is giving it the natural distribute values so if you go to our distribute and change this radius to something like this or maybe like setting it to y and z or i think this is uh x z and x is uh, perfectly what you want but let's just change the overall value of this so let me just change this and let's bring this outside so this is what we have we can make it to somewhere like 1 1.5 and i think this is looking good now if i move the offset you will see we get this nice little animation going on now to make this animation even interesting what we have to do is go in the offset and change the value of uh, different rotation so let's make this 45 and as you can see we get this animation going on now we can also make this 90 that will just make it kind of a flat look and i think this is also looking quite good and also changing I, i'm just going to try the rotation on the x axis so let's make it 90 and this is making it a completely flat which is i think what we were looking for and also just making it a kind of a slowly tilted look so maybe 45 or 25 so we have instead of linear plane we have something like a default or not a default but assign a kind of a small rotation going on and let's just move this back so the more number of points you have on this the more kind of uh, effective look you'll get so if i move this um, the offset and as you can see we have the bigger scale on this side and smallest scale on this side uh, inside of the offset region so let's just change this to 0.6 if you want even smaller planes inside of the offset now you can also animate or you can change the offset of your position but i don't recommend this since it will just uh, get rid of the uh, effect uh, let's make it one so if i move this now as you can see it's kind of going like that now you can make the wavy animation if the value is like 0.2 so you can make something like that but because since our fall off is too big it's not giving that we uh, look so let's change a different position offset to see if we can kind of make something out of it so let's just make it one so as you can see anything that is inside of the offset is affected by those values so let me just try this one and this will just pull these um, planes on the x-axis which you can pretty much use i guess uh, since it is kind of giving us a cool um, animation since we are going from x direction uh, from minus x to positive x so i think this is looking good so i'm going to keep it to 0.500 and one thing i can do is definitely going into a distribute and uh, maybe uh, increasing the number of points i have maybe 200 so by default it looks like this and by this we can animate to something like this uh, we can also maybe change the radius to something smaller value like 0.6 so we have something like this and then when we move it we get a neat little animation since um, changing the radius also affects the uh, uh, second animation which is how big this thing can go so to change that what we can also do is we can select our fall off and uh, maybe changing the inner zone to somewhere like a little smaller and let's increase this scale this up and let's make this 0.3 and now this will just help us a little bit since this when these uh, planes get inside of our fall off they won't be affected by the default values of the distribute unless and until they are inside of the inner zone so we can do pretty much something like that with these now after this what we can also do is go into a distribute and we can change around the ramps of how these animation are looking which we are also be going to be doing with the um, fall of value so let me just increase this to somewhere like 1.5 again and let me just move these outside and uh, maybe one is fine so once you are inside of the offset follow 
and here you'll see a follow for amp which will just uh, kind of determines how your animation is going to happen now right now it is set to a complete linear that means going from 0 to 1 now instead of doing a linear interpolation we can switch it to smooth and select the other one and switch it to smooth as well but this will still be in a linear fall off way that means going from 0 to 1 it's just changing the interpolation so what if we change these points to something like this now anything that you see uh, going from lower to higher value that means it is going from 0 value to 1 value to back to 0 so if I move this now you get neat little animation like this which is quite good uh, it will be even interesting if we can like lower the value of our scale but I think is giving us pretty cool animating result so definitely uh, try uh, playing around with this I mean there's a lot of variation that you can do with this fall of ram but I'm going to keep it like that so uh, let's move this uh, now if I uh, change the value of this you can get a longer kind of animation and uh, but I think uh, 1.5 value will be enough after a lot of trials and this is all about trial and errors you have to just play around with the values to get a perfect look but as you can see we have pretty neat interesting look so I'm going to keep it uh, right about there uh, and let's start off by shading this then we can get into how to completely animate this now I'm going to turn on my IPR end of view let's turn this on you won't see anything probably because uh, we don't have enough uh, light in our scene so let's take a simple direction light and let's bring this out to let me just change this fall off to somewhere like this and let's rotate this okay let's scale this up and bring this out and in the analog view I'm going to change the exposure to 1 let's turn on our IPR now so we have little lighting going on and uh, once you're done with the, this we can take a simple Arnold skylight okay now I'm going to decrease the intensity of this uh, HDR or you can say skylight of the Arnold to 0.7 maybe or maybe 6 yeah so uh, let's take a plane okay and move this a bit down I'm going to turn off the grid now and change the subdivision to one and one we don't need that many segments so let's scale this up and bring this right about there okay and I'm going to duplicate this and simply rotate this to 90 degrees on the x-axis let's keep it like that. so let's create a new camera and go into the camera and let's turn on the film gate and let's set a view okay so if you select the fall off let's make sure everything is inside of our camera look okay so let's lock the camera now and now we have something like this let's switch to camera shape and now it looks pretty interesting so uh, the next thing is uh, before sharing it let's uh, do the final render uh, sorry animation uh, let's do all the keyframing in this so I'm going to switch the uh, timeline to 120 frames and select our fall off now to animate the fall off perfectly or you can say making a perfect looping animation what we have to do is turn off our grid to take a perfect measurements and I'm going to select both of these plane and put it on a new layer so we can hide this for now and let's select this and uh, let's move this somewhere like this so uh, measure a certain distance from where uh, the center of the grid and your fall off object is for example 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 this will just uh, give you a perfect calculation of your fall off so when you are animating this on the positive x axis you can bring this back to the minus x axis that will just help you kind of animating a perfect loop so let's just change this to even higher like maybe 180 okay now I'm going to select my fall off and simply hit S to keyframe it and just move it. I'm going to go to somewhere like 120 and let's bring this and hit S. Okay. So let's see the animation now. All right. So as you can see, uh, we have a neat animation going on, but now by default, Maya does something called as a busier animation, which is kind of slowing it down from the beginning and slowing it down at the end. And 
which will you'll notice if you start the animation and you'll slowly notice that your fall off is kind of beginning very slowly now to fix this we can select our fall off go to windows animation editor and graph editor and here as you can see we get this bezier on the x-axis now to fix this simply click on your fall off and click on this simple line which is linear and that's it you fix the animation on this perfect so um, let's try to shade this now uh, i'm going to set it to 120 again and let's go back and let's set it to somewhere like this and let's go back into our camera and turn on the layer let's see our ipr as well all right perfect now i'm using a maya 2020 which has a gpu feature built in inside of the arnold system so if you are using maya 2020 version and if you have a good gpu you can turn this on as well you can also do one thing to fasten your uh, make your animation even faster is going into your mesh network and make sure you are using your gpu that will just help you with your animation just a better result all right uh, so i need to go to my render setting and just change the camera a samples to 10 for now now let's uh, go to our floor one and let's give a stand surface let's call this floor one and uh, i'm going to make this to somewhere like 0.1 and 0.5 i'm going to give a kind of uh, look like this maybe somewhere like All right, so when you're done with this, now you can simply hit play and you can watch this animation going on. Now, if you want to play around more with this, uh, you can uh, walk through with your animation and simply click on clicking on it and uh, maybe going to the attributes and changing a different kind of look for this, maybe changing it to spherical and definitely play around with the offset. This will just give you uh, kind of a needle animation for this to even improve your animation so playing around with this is a complete uh, kind of trial and error kind of thing you have to play around with different values to get what kind of result you can get so play around with this and i hope you like the video and for the final rendering what you can do is simply switching it to the rendering tab and going to the render and simply hit render sequence and make sure before rendering in your image format is set to jpeg name it to uh, i don't know something like striplets and uh, switch it to hd make sure your camera is selected and from here change the extension to name and this will just give you instead of single frame you'll have multi frames and here make sure your final frame is 120 now you're good to go so your animation will be from one frame to 120 frame and now if you hit in the sequence you'll be good to go so uh, i hope you like the video i enjoy creating some needle animation and looping animation and enjoy